Warning, this article contains spoilers from A Very English Scandal episode 2 of A Very English Scandal aired on Sunday, May 25th, and saw Jeremy Thorpe, played by Hugh Grant, increasingly coming under fire as his ex-lover Norman Scott, Ben Whishaw, approached his Westminster colleagues about their affair. With the help of widow Gwen Parry Jones, Eve Miles, Scott spoke to a number of MPs including Emmeline Hooson, Jason Watkins, about the scandal which threatened to derail Thorpe's political career. One scene from the drama showed Hooson talking to Thorpe about Scott's story and his relationship with the young stable hand. Hooson told Thorpe he wanted to take Scott's claims to the rest of the Liberal Party and the police, who was Norman Scott's wife. Thorpe hit back, I think that would be a mistake because you stood for election as leader in 67 and I won, so this would look like nothing but revenge. After Hooson suggested that an inquiry would decide, Thorpe told him, then I will remind them that you are the man who stood up in court and defended Ian Brady. He added, you sided with the very worst of Yule deviants. What happened to him? Did you get a taste for it? But did the Welsh MP really defend Moore's murders serial and rapist Ian Brady? A very English scandal cast did Emlyn Hooson really defend Ian Brady? Yes, Emlyn Hooson was both successful as a barrister and a politician, who was appointed as Brady's defence in 1965 when the case went to court. Brady was charged with murdering children Leslie Ann Downey, 10, John Kilbride, 12, and Edward Evans, 17. During the trial, Hooson insisted that there was only the flimsiest evidence that Brady was responsible for the deaths of Downey and Kilbride, even though the heir had admitted having used an axe against Evans. Both Brady and his accomplice Myra Hindley were convicted on all counts and received life sentences, dying behind bars. Brady was one of a number of heirs that Hooson defended during his career. Was Norman Scott's dog Rinker really killed? Despite representing Brady, Hooson had a strong career as a liberal politician who opposed the Vietnam War and supported devolution in the UK. Hooson was the MP Montgomery for 17 years and the leader of the Liberal Party of Wales. He also introduced the Government of Wales Bill on St David's Day 1967, one of the first steps in the formation of the Welsh Assembly. After losing his seat in the 1979 general election, he was made a life peer and became Baron Hooson of Montgomery in the county of Powers and of Colomendi in the county of Clwyd. Hooson D. in February 2012 at the age of 86. A very English scandal concludes this Sunday on 1 at 9 p.m.